Hi guys, welcome back for part two of how to survive the zombie apocalypse. So we'll get straight back into where we're up to from last week on the grab and go bag. We've also got some water purification tablets and one of these ready lights. So it's just a mechanical light really. Uh, it doesn't use batteries. You just pop this bit out and wind the internal mechanism which charges up the battery. Righto, so up to the little top pouch here. This is the only one that's not a full clamshell opening, but it does open up most of the way. Just another uh, handkerchief in the top here, light stick, one of these which is, we've showed you before, the Epiphany Outdoor Gear Weatherproof Fire Starting Kit, which is a few of the baddest bees, fire starters, as well as a fire steel and striker. But it's also got the pocket bellows tool, and it's all in this little capsule which is waterproof. Just got one of these work sharp knife sharpeners, nothing um, too drastic, it's just good to sharpen up a blade. Uh, we've got a <coughs> CRKT eating tool, it's just like a little spork, as well as on the top here you can see it's got a few hex heads cut into it, as well as the bottle opener and stuff. Got a small set of nail clippers and just a set of tweezers in here, and also some uh, lip balm, just some Blistex. Uh, in the back side they've just got a small fishing kit, just a few hooks, sinkers, lines, that sort of stuff. As well as one of these, it's a yo-yo fishing line. You can basically just hang this in a tree and uh, dangle your line down. And once it's sort of bitten, it pulls it back up. Okay, so getting into the main section, there's just these two little compression straps. So there's two main pockets, so this is the first of the two. In here there's all these uh, Velcro breathable pouches. Up in this end, just got a, a small stove with the fuel tablets. As well as just one of these uh, small SAS survival guides. There's a fair bit of information in there, if ever you were to need it. There is room, obviously, on this top panel here with this Velcro, you can actually attach uh, VanQuest to a lot of pouches um, that we've shown before, just like this one. They basically make all of them. You can get Velcro panels here and just stick them on into the bag, just so quick access. So in this side, uh, we've just got another solar light. This is one of the Lucy lanterns. These are really good just because you just pop that valve, blow it up like a little balloon, and you can hang it up anywhere. It's got a little solar panel on the back there and just charges itself up. It's just got that small ring of LED lights. Nice and simple, but they work really well. So they just blow up into a little lantern like that and the LEDs shine up into the plastic and sort of put off a pretty good glow. And then when you're done, you can just squeeze all the air out and it's nice and compact. Uh, we've also got a few um, just hand warmers, toe warmers, that sort of thing. Uh, Fresnel lens and just one of these small uh, you dig it uh, foldable spade if you need to dig a hole to do your business anyway. Now in this lower section uh, this is just a tool it's called a burden strap uh, we've just made this up you might do a just a short video on what that is. Um, it's basically just to help you carry um, like loads of 
firewood or something like that. We also got one of these uh, emergency food ration bars, um, five year life on it. So it's all vacuum sealed, as well as just a uh, meal out of an MRE, which we can use the little Ollie Camp cup that we showed you earlier just to heat up and cook that with. Okay, so that's that pocket done. And then onto the main pocket, or the largest pocket of the bag. It's another full clamshell. Just up the top here, um, another Velcro panel. VanQuest actually sell these little panels here, which I was talking about. It's just a little Velcro panel and you can get little shock cord attachments and stuff to mount them anywhere on these patches. So I'll just stick that one there. It's just got a little Gerber hatchet in there. This is um, a product I found that's from a brand called Fossils. Basically, it's just a pack of a cup, a bowl, and a plate that all just use these little snap locks that click in and make yourself up a little bowl or plate to hold food and stuff like that in. They just clip together to make, that one's obviously the cup. There's a bigger version of that as your bowl. And then the plate has a large flat base just with a little kick up on each end. Completely reusable and just unclick them folds back down completely flat. On this side, um, just another VanQuest pouch. This one is just sort of a good one that you can strap onto your belt or something like that if you were going out. Just pops open and there's just a good pouch that hangs down. It's just good if you, if you were collecting like, yeah, stuff to start a fire with or whatever. You can just have that hanging off your side and then it's got a draw, drawstring closure on the top. So it doesn't take up much space. Uh, this is a DD Hemix 3x3 uh, three three tarp. Um, it's basically just another backup sort of shelter. You can make a little tent or just a cover out of this. Yeah, not much to it. All year, um, your cords and stuff to tie it up are there. These are really good because they've got a lot of attachment points and just really well made. Just got a bit of good quality uh, quarter inch rope, just in case you needed anything a bit stronger than the paracord that we've got. Just a cheap folding saw. We've got a big silky saw in the car, but this is just something good to have if you needed it. Just a good fixed blade knife. Uh, this is just a little Izula knife. Uh, we do have a bigger one that we normally just keep in the car, but we could swap it out if we really wanted to. A uh, little SOL uh, emergency bivvy. This is actually a two-person bivvy, um, just a bit bigger if ever you needed it. One of these small uh, Sea to Summit Eros pillow. So these are just a really good uh, inflatable pillow with a one-way valve. They're actually quite comfortable um, for what they are and really compact and light. So they've just got a one-way valve so you can add more air in or just let a little bit out at a time. But if you want to take it all the way down, you just pull this tab and it releases it completely. And we also have a Cedar Summit Thermalite uh, sleeping bag liner, just to add a bit of extra warmth. And finally, just another one of these uh, Velcro pads. Uh, this is just a individual, I guess, mini survival kit kind of thing uh, in a VanQuest pouch. If you really couldn't take the whole bag, you could just rip this out. And there's some handy stuff in here. There's just a little 
uh, respiratory mask. Um, say there was a bushfire or something, that would help you out. Inside, just all the normal stuff. Um, uh, emergency whistle, live fire, fire starter, a bit of paracord, an old style can opener, like a military one. Um, this is just a little blade sharpener with a fire starter in it. Just some more of the Baddest B fire fuses, pen, sharpie, Ziploc bag, a couple of these emergency drinking water ration pouches. We've got an emergency poncho, a couple more of those chem lights, um, a couple of tea bags, a migraine cooling pad, which have come in handy. One of the little freeze dried long life um, food bars and just a bit of alfoil which you can use to cook on or whatever you need and another Fresnel lens in there. So that's pretty much everything that we've got in uh, the grab and go bag in our car. Um, no, we don't think the zombies are going to take over and kill everyone and all that. It's just something we like to have in the car in case of emergency. Even if we're not carrying the bag away from the car to do stuff, that bag's already come in handy for us before when we've been on camping trips. So even just having little things like the snake bite kit and that in there, that sort of, it may not help, but it sort of gives you a little bit of reassurance uh, when you're out in the middle of nowhere camping. Also, just knowing that you've got a bit of backup. I mean, it was actually a pretty fun project to sort of build up the bag watch what other people have, why they have it and stuff like that. And through that you actually learn a few things. It may not be anything major, but just little things like fire starting or water purification and that sort of stuff that could really help you someday. It may not, hopefully it never has to, but it's nice to just sort of learn a few extra things and have a bit of a backup. So that's pretty much the whole reason behind the bag. We hope you like watching the video. Um, everything in it is down in the description box. Thanks a lot to everyone for watching. We've been getting a lot of like consistent comments and questions and that sort of stuff on Facebook um, as well as YouTube. So we really appreciate all the followers. So yeah, thanks for your support and uh, keep watching and we'll see you in the next video.